What's up guys, back with another video and I'm shooting right now on my Canon M50 because I'm going to be doing a video on the GoPro Hero 8 and I also have my GoPro Hero 3 Plus this actually was my first ever GoPro and this is my second one so I did jump a huge thing from 3 to 8 but this video is also mainly about this $20 kit you can buy at Walmart I just want to do like a review on it. I'm not sure if I'll keep it or not, but I do have some accessories coming from GoPro. I got two packages already from them. I'm getting a third one, and that will be coming soon. And when that comes, I'll do a big unboxing. And then after that, I'll do like kind of like a kit for vlogging, and then also accessories that you should have when you have a GoPro. But this is basically all the, um, the accessories you basically should have. This is like almost like a little bit higher than the basics, but this is all like cheaper quality stuff so some of this stuff probably should be replaced with some better stuff yeah anyways <laughs> let's open this up and let's see what we get inside obviously it shows you a picture you don't actually feel the quality of what it is I did get the um, I'm gonna do a sneak uh, peek on what I actually I did get the GoPro uh, box thing so I can kind of like put whatever I want in there this right here is, I believe, the chest mount. So it says it comes with a selfie stick, a floating hand grip, um, a carrying case, five different mounts, a tripod adapter, two quick release buckles, three thumb screws, and one wrench. But I didn't say exactly what kind of mount this is. It's probably a chest mount. Yeah, this is a chest mount right here. So you have a little mount right there. Let's unwrap it and actually it's plastic. On it. The one the thing about this one is it's so cheap that it doesn't even actually have the mount here. Um, I'm not sure if the GoPros does or not either, but basically you just put like that little sliding clip right in there. So then you can have it on your chest. And you can do that with any GoPro, it doesn't matter what GoPro you have. Um, so let's open this big one up. This has everything else in it. This is kind of like what it looks like. So it's like all put together. The first thing we're going to look at is the flotation device. Um, I guess this one doesn't unscrew because I already have one that unscrews. Actually, I have it right here. But I'll do an in depth video on this one. So this is a floater as well, and it has one of those nice grips where if it gets wet, it's not really slippery, but obviously this one would be. And also this thing on screws and everything you put in here would be waterproof. Um, which is a must when you're doing things in the water, that's for sure. Alright, that's that. And then here's a little slip grip type uh, deal. I always remember these because of the Nintendo's uh, Wii. And you had to put that on your uh, thing. Anyways, we have this clamp right here. This probably goes onto your bike. You tighten it up onto your bike. Then you have your GoPro mount right there. That's actually pretty cool. This is what I mainly bought it for. Because I didn't really want to... Because that like if you go on Amazon, the cheapest um, suction cup thing is like 15, 20 bucks for like at least a decent one. Uh, but this came with the $20 bundle. So all this stuff and this for like $5 more is like what? So this has that little slip-on mount. This will suction cup to the window. I'm gonna give that a go for sure. And here's that slip-on thing right here. Basically, you mount your GoPro into here, and then you kind of just you can switch switch this between the chest, this, and then obviously if you had that on your tripod for when you're vlogging and stuff. All right, this right here actually has it already built in. This is your head mount. So you kind of just like put this on your head. <clears throat> kind of looks a little weird but basically if you wanted to do, like do a video with your hands and kind of like show people what you're doing without having to have it do it with one hand like I can't stand sometimes when I'm watching unboxings if they don't have a tripod they're holding it with one hand and then they gotta put you down moving around way too much it's crazy I'm gonna take this off for now I don't really need that and this is um, a monopod so this kind of goes really 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 long and you can also uh, swivel this which is pretty cool and then you have little thing right there 
Also, which is weird, I didn't even notice that until just now. You can actually screw this onto another tripod. So I have my Manfrotto right here. If I wanted to, I can put that right on there. And now I have a tall tripod. Let's see how this even looks. That, that looks really goofy. But that is definitely doable. This The Manfrotto's are really, really sturdy. Even if it's on a, in an uneven area, it's actually pretty good. Uh, it's not as good as, obviously, um, the Gorilla Pods. But if I put it all the way down, I have a little thing right here. That's pretty cool. I think that's actually pretty awesome. But it won't be able to bring this thing to Disney. Uh, you can't have anything that extends at Disney. Uh, but obviously, I'm not going to just do Disney stuff. But we have some replaceable uh, screw-ons because you can never have too many of those. This right here is a good tool to have too. This will kind of obviously extend what you have and put it in a different direction of what you want. <clears throat> this is the little tool. So if you can't undo it with your hands or if you have a screwdriver on you, you kind of just, you know, boom. There's a third one right there. This right here is probably the best GoPro hack right here. This turns any tripod you can think of into a GoPro uh, tripod. So I'm gonna take this off right here. I'm gonna screw this on. Then I have this little shell from the, the three. And then I'm gonna just screw this on here. That's kind of like what it would look like. I don't have it screwed in all the way. Let's see. There we go. So that's kind of how it looks. So you kind of like flog. Which is pretty cool. Because this is the tripod I use for my uh, M50, which I can obviously use it for the GoPro as well. And then this right here is one of those other mounts that slips right on but it's a, it has like a little angle to it which is pretty cool um, definitely worth the 20 bucks I don't care I'm not gonna return this I'm gonna have this stuff as backup so if my good quality stuff breaks or if this stuff breaks I can just get a better one kinda review it I'll do like a little review on all this uh, in the future I'm gonna try it all out I'm gonna be going to Florida soon it sucks that I won't be going to Disney but still gonna at least be going to Florida but this is the main thing I wanted to try out. The main thing, the reason why I bought it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.